four months into it, they can't lose all their animals. So I have a backup, everything is duplexed in there, I have two of everything. We have a backup generator out here where we can uh, fire up and have backup power. So, so far so good, we've been running for, for outdoor exposures. It's a type of animal called an echinoderm, um, which means spiny skin. It's related to uh, sea stars and, uh, and sea cucumbers. Uh, sand dollars are all echinoderms. Uh, what's unique about them, if you put them in the water here, you'll start to see uh, some tube feet come out. And they use that, that, uh, those tube feet, like little suction discs, to hold on to things. Um, here they come, these little purple, wormy looking things are actually, the, each one is a little suction thing. Um, so if they're, if they're adhered to the wall, here's the, the sea stars in the same way. If they're stuck on, you know, to the surface pretty hard, you really can't get them off without ripping those two feet. Um, so I had to find one that was kind of sitting, you know, separate, um, that they chew up the algae and, and eat it. They're voracious eaters. If they don't have algae, they'll start eating other things. In fact, my tank over there, if you look at it, you'll see little chew marks on the acrylic. They're starting oh, to eat the acrylic. If I don't really? keep it, oh my God. They, if I don't keep it full of algae, they'll, they'll eat it. People miss these guys because they're, they're hiding out under rocks, under boulders. Um, but they get their name Brittle Star because of that the real brittle, uh, long uh, rays that they have, which they'll break off if attacked. And they can regenerate those, those rays. Um, again, the central disc here in the, in the middle, uh, little rasping mouth part. And, uh, and two feet as well. But they're really, really fast. They can really boogie. Stars are the sea urchin, but they're also echinoderms. They have uh, uh, bumpy skin, not necessarily spiny, but um, it classifies as, a, as an echinoderm. And they also have five sections. Um, we'd have to dissect out this animal to see that. If we cut it open, you'd see five uh, muscle bands um, inside the, the skin layer here. And they have also two feet all over. Um, these guys live on softer, you wouldn't find this in the tide pool, it's too soft body, but um, they live on, on softer bottom, mud and sand, and they're just kind of detrival feeders, All they have a mouth parts, uh, see one that's kind of open here, they have kind of feathery mouth parts, they, they, they collect debris as it's floating by, and kind of like the earthworms, they just kind of filter whatever. Down in this, this hole, and they, they made that whole structure, this is actually a cluster of, of different uh, barnacles there, but um, there's a live one up on top, and uh, it's filtering plankton out of the water, kind of like my sand filters do. But uh, that's how it's eating. And um, if you were to eat it, and I've, I've tasted the bigger ones, they, they taste just like crap. Camouflage. Um, it did get in a, a, a tussle or something happened a while back. It broke a claw off, and now it's, it's going to regrow as well. Um, and the crustaceans, uh, the, the hard, animals with the hard exoskeleton, they have to shed that, that skeleton to grow. So a lot of times on the beaches, you'll see uh, the skeletons um, in their life. There's nothing inside. And that's uh, probably a molt that you're, that you're finding. So about once a year for the adults, they'll have to uh, split the shell at some point and they extract their body out of the shell. And for a while, they're just like this ball of jelly hiding out somewhere. And they swell their body up and then the new shell forms around that larger size. They expel the water and then they have uh, growing room for the, for the season. And um, lobsters do it, uh, sand crabs, uh, that does to the bird, um, but nobody's really studied what it does to the crab. Um, so she's looking at that. So they come out of the shell? They remove the shell? They do when they molt, yeah. Yeah, and young one, young, you know, when they're young, um, the young crabs will uh, molt several times a year to grow, and then as they reach adulthood, it may only be once once a year. So, yeah, yeah. Now, Santa Barbara is a good place to find uh, molts of lobsters on the beach. Um, you can find the whole animal. And if you're careful, you can pick it up and, and dry it. Set it up if you're if you're a, a geek, I guess. <laughs>